CZ Scorpion Evo. This is a rugged obsidian 45 suppressor. I have the Vortex Venom Red Dot on it right now because I'm doing some testing for another review, so I'm not really going to talk about the Red Dot. The other Red Dot that you guys might have seen before is going to be the Rhydon RMD. Now, that's an old, like, Generation 1 Rhydon that I purchased probably about two years ago. I've had the Scorpion, I believe, a little over two years now, and this has been absolutely one of the favorite firearms in my collection. Not only is it fun to shoot, but the recoil is almost non-existent. So you combine that low recoil with a nine millimeter, um, which is relatively affordable. Obviously it's gotten a lot more expensive since I originally purchased this, but it's not that bad, especially current market. Um, I've seen nine millimeters and I think I posted even links to those, which by the way, check out my two-way blog, um, mrbigkid.net slash two-way blog. I have other links and sources to that kind of stuff. Nine millimeters right now, probably about 38 cents around. So let me talk about some of the accessories that I have for this guy. Right here, this is the SIG brace. Now this is one of the first braces um, that I've seen for the Scorpions. And the only reason I bought this is because I found it used. I went to a local gun store and sure enough, they actually had one of these guys that were used. So I only paid like 60 bucks for it. So at the time when I bought this, um, this pretty much killed my entire budget. So buying cheap accessories was worth it. So the stock pistol grip on the Scorpion, was horrible. It had like a sharp angle like this. It just, the ergonomics just didn't work. This guy here is the Apex Grip. The grip angle is a lot less extreme than the previous uh, Scorpion version. So let's go a little more forward right here. This is the HB Industries Theta Forward Trigger. Excellent trigger. It's got that flat face on it. It's got those skeletonized holes drilled in it too. Um, inside here, inside the trigger pack is actually the light and spring kit as well. I'll, you know, I will actually go ahead and take this thing and put this on a, on a gauge as well. well. Let's measure that trigger pull after I finish talking about the rest of the stuff. As you can see right here, this is the Magpul angled foregrip. Now what I've done a little bit differently, when I purchased the Scorpion, this guy right here was actually the hand stop that was where the angled foregrip is. The difference is I took the hand stop and I actually put it on the side rail that came with the Scorpion. So what's nice about that, when I'm holding the Scorpion, I just take my hand, put it on the angled foregrip and just rest my thumb right there. I've heard of some people using the bolt handle as a foregrip, but this guy is just ergonomically comfortable. So the ergonomics of this setup are awesome. It's really just like that. So you get that really strong, um, you just get a really good purchase on the gun. Excellent setup, I like it. Um, it's a little weird, but when people finally realize what I'm doing, they're all on board. So that's kind of cool. And then of course, moving forward, I already talked about this. This is a rugged obsidian 45 suppressor. Yeah, it's 45, this is a nine millimeter but 45, what I, the reason I bought this is because it's more universal. I can put all the smaller calibers, um, I can put this on all my smaller calibers, including my nines and my 45 and anything less. So one complaint that people have also, and this is stock, so can't really complain too much about it, but right here you have this ambidextrous uh, safety right here, so you can flip it from both sides. So the problem is this particular safety kind of gets in the way of your trigger finger. Ever since I got this new grip right here, it's not an issue for me. My hand just doesn't sit there. But when you're in the fire, you do kind of get a little contact right here. They do have a ambidextrous delete, so it's only a left-handed left -handed safety switch. But I haven't found the need to upgrade, so um, just not on my purchase list. I do want an extended bolt handle, uh, HBI makes extended bolt handles and the, even the red one that'll match with my Theta trigger. 
So other than that, the reason I love the Scorpion, again, is because the price point when I bought this, it was around $700. I think they're more close to about a thousand bucks now. Extremely comfortable gun, relatively accurate, more accurate than I am, at least. So the cool thing is this one, I believe, uh, could be corrected, but I think it's a seven and a half inch barrel. So if you think about it, that's actually quite a long barrel for a nine millimeter. No, it's not a pistol caliber carbine length barrel, but um, a seven and a half inch barrel is gonna kind of increase your ballistics as compared to a typical four inch barrel or a five inch barrel on a full size handgun. So you have slightly better ballistics and then again, no recoil. I was gonna get a picture of you just dumping it. Oh, I'll do it. I got another dump coming up right now. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna get up on you. I'm gonna get up on you. All right, here we go. Standard blowback bolt system. Really nothing fancy about it. You do have your controls for your bolt right up here. You have two ways to drop that bolt. When you put a full magazine in, switch you can take this right here and that's actually your bolt release when your empty mag is in there it's going to pop it up you just take that push it down and it's going to send your bolt home you can also go the classic slap the receiver style you can take this bolt release slap it down and then again you're also going to send that bolt home too i love doing the slap that's just fun it just feels cool Don't worry, I didn't forget about you guys. We're gonna do a little trigger pull, trigger weight test right now. So we got the Scorpion, we are empty, and we're charged back. Four pounds, let's do it again. 4.7 pounds, 3.15 pounds, 4.6 pounds. 4.2 pounds. So we're sitting around a four pound trigger pull as well. Very easy takedown for maintenance. Now I have not cleaned this thing in a while, so shame on me. Really all you have to do is pop this little button right there. It's not even a button, it's just a pin. So you pop that pin out, pull the bolt back, and then your trigger pack your fire control group, whatever you want to call this. This comes right out, easy cleaning. You can access your bolt easily as well, so you can get a good cleaning inside there. Uh, clean your ramp, chamber, all that good stuff. Of course, to put it back in, all you gotta do is take that, stick it up, put your bolt or put your pin through. That's it. So I kind of want to give you guys an update on my Scorpion. Yes, I do still have it, and yes, I do still love it. Huge fan of the green and red combination together. I think that just looks sexy. So anyways, hope you guys like this video. Hope you guys like this little demo and show and tell. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.